do subscribe to ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello students today we are studying chapter genetic basis of inheritance in that we are studying topic law of dominance dominance when i say that word it means dominant or strong let us see how law of dominance work for mendel in pea plant experiment law of dominance now when we break the word law of dominance dominance means dominating or something which is very strong which is reoccurring and you're going to see that thoroughly and year after year similarly the first law that was ruled out by mendel or that was laid down by mendel was this law of law of dominance what mendel did with this law was he took a dwarf plant which is small t small t and you can say say a short plant and he crossed it with a tall plant that is capital t capital t now after crossing over what he observed that when the parent one and parent two were crossed he got the f1 progeny and that f1 progeny basically had phenotypically all tall parents that is the genotypic ratio may have capital t and small t but phenotypically all the plants were tall what he conferred or he just reverse back and said that tall is always dominant over dwarf in any generation if there is a tall gamet present it will obviously express itself this was mendel's statement that when two alleles for a given character are merged then one of the expression is heterozygous one and the dominant one whether it is homozygous or heterozygous in case of heterozygous condition the dominant one will always be expressed whereas the recessive one will not be expressed when mendel did the cross in the f1 generation what he noticed was capital t and small t that is heterozygous hybrid when i say heterozygous it means different capital t and small t that's heterozygous different while in the f2 generation what he noticed was he observed one pair of capital t capital t that is homozygous tall and as a homozygous tall it means both are similar and one pair of heterozygous tall that is capital t and small t whereas the last pair was homozygous dwarf small t and small t now to obtain the results for law of dominance what experiment mandel did was he took a he crossed a pure tall plant that is capital t capital t with a pure dwarf plant which is small t and small t now after the cross was done what mandel observed was that all the plants of f1 generation and the plants were capital t and small t that is heterozygous tall heterozygous means different gametes but they show phenotypically taller heights or they were tall in nature whereas for the f2 generation what he noticed were the progenies were capital t capital t capital t small t and small t small t capital t capital t was pure tall whereas capital t small t was heterozygous tall and small t and small t were homozygous tall
according to Mendel's law of the two alleles or in simple language you can say of the two genes we all know that for a particular character there are two sets of genes present now of the two alleles for a given character or you can say trait the one which expresses itself or shows itself or you can see it in heterozygous condition that is in mixed condition if the gametes are capital T small t in that condition is called as dominant allele whereas the one which fails to express is the recessive allele so if the genotypic make makeup of a plant in any generation for example if in f1 generation is capital t small t now that is an heterozygous condition and the plant will always show dominant makeup or dominant height students this part of the chapter was about law of dominance that mendel clearly stated that the tall character will always dominate the short character similarly he said for the color of pea plant the wrinkled pea plant the color of the pea plant the various hybrids all of them he said that certain characteristics were dominant whereas certain characteristics were pure recessive or just homozygously recessive there were heterozygous recessive there were homozygous recessive there were homozygous pure breed there were heterozygous pure breed mendel just created a clearance about that which were the dominant traits and which were recessive by this law i hope you all are clear with this law of dominance concept thank you